Yeah, baby. What is up, everybody? Jayco here today, bringing you something special. It's kind of redundant, but there's gonna be a lot of new stuff that you guys don't know about in this story. So before I get into what we're gonna talk about today, you can probably see that by the title, I have to do my special advertisement that I don't get paid to do, but I hope you guys subscribe. So be sure to check out OnlyFans.com slash JakeOrion93 with over a thousand photos and 558 videos for just $5. Thank you so much for watching my sponsor. Now let's get into the video. Before I get into this, just letting you know I'm kind of out of breath, I'm not feeling too great. Just got on the elliptical, I'm gonna try and do this for at least a mile or however long it takes me to make this video because I don't really want to stop and go to the spin bike behind me. So let's get right into it. So there's a lot of controversial comments about the video I made with Vadim Black. Now I'm not gonna get into what these videos are about because I'm not trying to get in trouble on YouTube. I'm trying to collect as much assets as possible and monetize my videos. So if you don't know about these videos by now, or what's in them, chances are you've been living under a rock. Not even the video is recording. So, let me just, I wanna clarify a lot of things that people speculate and don't really know. So, people ask me, hey Jake, do you and Vadim still make videos? Are you friends? Do you talk? I don't, after we filmed those videos, um, we talked about certain things and uh, uh, he wanted to start something in the future and I wasn't really for the idea because I didn't want to make videos with guys and that kind of ended the bond right there. So after that, um, I kind of saw him once when I had a girlfriend at the time, not, not the one I'm with now. And he was with a person at the gym, I'm not going to specify who or what. And we saw each other and said, hey, what's up, you know, no hard feelings and stuff like that. So, there's no real friendship there. Also, he has unfollowed me on Twitter, which I don't know why. I actually reached out to him about two weeks ago, uh, asking if he wanted to exchange content or retweet each other's content for OnlyFans. He said he was down for it. And then, um, no response after that. I also asked him if he wanted to be in one of my YouTube videos about three months ago, and he asked for money for it, so I decided to not use him. Because I was using him for exposure for me and him, and he wanted to be paid for it, and I just didn't want to do it. So that's the relationship between me and Vadim Black. I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm here to tell the truth as much as possible without making anybody look bad. So. Let's go back to the videos, how they originated, why did I did, and another, another controversial question, let's get to this, is a lot of people believe the videos are fake, as in, they've never been sent out. And the reason why they believe that is because how, of how long it took to actually get these done, and how long it took to finalize and distribute them. A blog decided to write about it, claiming the videos were fake. Shortly after, after reading this blog, I decided to post the videos, I think it was like the next day or the second day, just because I didn't need that problem. I didn't need speculation of these videos not existing, even though they did exist, they were just in my edited files. So, I got that done right away, edited it, and then distributed it one by one. So, at the time, um, I was taking pre-orders for the video, and it was a long time. And I'm gonna to explain to you why it took as long as it took and explain the situation around it. So, I originally, this is when I was single, I was like, no, I never made a video with a guy friend before. And I think this could take me over the next step and make me a lot of money. But at the same time, I was afraid of being portrayed as a person who does this kind of work, when that's not how I want to be portrayed. I'm not gonna to pretend to be something I'm not. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you that I mess with guys all the time because I don't. Or I dated guys because I never did. So I didn't want to be portrayed as that. So I said to myself, there has to be a way that I can 
monitor these videos so they don't leak or something. So I was hoping because they were watermarked passwords and because the videos were as pricey as they were, that that wouldn't happen. So I said to myself, I said, like how much, how much money can I make off of this? And I thought maybe 10, 15,000. To this day, I don't have an exact number, but it's somewhere between 30 and 50,000 that I made off of these three videos, which is remarkable and great. Um, do I regret doing them? No, I don't regret doing them. Do I regret lowering the prices? Yes, I regret lowering the prices. So the pre-order period was, I don't know, it was, I, I'm not giving you exact numbers. Let me just tell you something. All these videos I make are not pre-scripted. I don't edit it. I don't change anything. I could mess up. I might not have exact numbers. So please bear with me. So I had a pre-order period where you got all three videos for $300. And tons and tons of people ordered it. What I did is I collected an Amazon email gift card. I jotted down to people's email. And then once it came to, on an Excel sheet, and then once it came to distribute them, I emailed everybody individually, their specific passwords, and they got their videos. Another thing people speculate, if people aren't getting their videos, why is there no, no reviews anywhere? Now, this is kind of my fault. I should have said, to the people who ordered the videos, hey, I just started a review panel on my website. Be sure to review the video. This probably would have got me more sales and probably made people more comfortable to order. So that is my fault. But at the same time, nobody's gonna go out of their way to leave a review. I eat at a place called BJ Steakhouse, Brew House, whatever. I love their food. It's one of the best restaurants I've ever been to. And I love it. Did I ever write a good review about it? No. Did I ever read a bad review about it? No. So, usually if you like something a lot, it's very unlikely that you write a review. But, if you're one of those people who really dislike something a lot, you're more than likely to write a review. So, a lot of people with reviews on sites and companies, make sure to remove the bad ones so you only see the good ones. That's how a lot of things work. Now, somebody like Google and stuff, or their reviews, they only let you like respond to it. Cause I know like LA Fitness or something, they got really bad reviews. And then LA Fitness comments like, oh, contact us, we'll, uh, we'll fix this and make this better, you know? So back to the story about the pre-orders. I dragged on the pre-orders as long as possible. And while I was collecting pre-orders, there was no video made. The video was made um, after I made a certain amount of money. And I, what I did was, I didn't know, I had somebody in mind to work with, and I'm not gonna say his name, but he had something that was wrong with him inside that made me not wanna work with him. Even though I trusted him, even though he was a good friend, I just, I just didn't wanna take that chance even though he made me feel comfortable. So then I started a poll and I said, or voting system, whatever on Twitter, I said, who would you like me to make these videos with? Because I didn't know anybody, like, I didn't know who I want to work with. I didn't know anybody would fly to me and everything. So then a couple people or a few people said the Dean and he was one of the highest people who would voted. So I found the Dean on Twitter tweeted him, and reluctantly, he lived 15 miles away from me. So, we met, I met up, I went to his apartment, we hung out, we made some you know, videos talking about, trying to like, up it and like sell more and stuff like that. So, I, I don't give Vadim money from the videos, I paid Vadim out of my pocket. Now, I'm not gonna tell you how much because that's not anybody's business, but I asked him what he wanted, or I offered him an amount, and he countered offered, and then I accepted. Not only that, I gave him his money before he even filmed, which usually I think is afterwards. And um, so now some more controversial comments. So when I started, I filmed the first video, right? 
which was, you know what the first video was of. And then I got cold feet. And I said to Vadim, I said, let me see if I can try to get them to want a different video. Like maybe like a shower show, massaging, stuff like that. And when I contacted people who purchased this video pre-orders, 80% of the people said, nah, I'll just take a refund. And then I was just like, wow, this is, this is gonna be tough to do because people are paying an Amazon email gift cards. It's not easy to refund their money. And this will be a big ordeal, it'll take a lot of time. So then I went back to Vadim and I suggested, and this is me telling the truth, I suggested that we make the videos look real, but not actually do it. And he said no. He said, I can't do that. People are gonna hate me, people are gonna dislike me, and then I won't be able, you know, I, I people would use it against me. So he said no to that. So a few weeks go by. And then I see a couple of things, people writing about me and stuff like that, people asking for refunds. Then I messaged with him, I said, listen bro, we gotta do this, I gotta do this, or else. And he said, okay, this is what you owe me, we'll film these two videos, two different days, and we'll go from there. So, number one, I'm gonna be honest with you, filming isn't the best. It's me holding camera, it's him holding a camera, and, the filming's not the best. And especially because that's my first time ever doing it. I'm shaking and I'm nervous and all this other stuff. And I was nervous when I did my solo for Randy Blue. And even then I was nervous as hell and I wasn't even holding a camera. And I had videos in front of me. Let me switch off, guys. So, kind of hope this is recording. Okay, it's recording. Good stuff. Let me put you right here. So you guys can see me on the spin bike. I can't sit on the elliptical all day. I did a, I did a mile. Okay. So I got nervous for that video. So when it came to this video, like, on all honesty, Vadim is a good looking guy, right? He's a pretty good looking guy, especially in person too. But it, it just doesn't feel the same to me as being with, you know, number one, a woman, and number two, somebody that I have something for. Um, other than working out, I didn't feel I had much in common with Vadim, which is fine, you know, everybody's a different person. But, you know, when I was recording this video, I had a hard time getting up. I had a lot, there was a lot of cuts and stuff, and we tried to do different angles and make things look good and stuff like that. And after I watched it and was, excuse me, better, 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 you gotta move. After I watched it and started editing it, I was like, I really hope people are happy because this is not the way I wanted it to turn out. And, there was no like, oh, I'm gonna request. I was hoping that the people would like it and like to see me do something they've never seen before and they'll be happy with it. And at the end of the day, 99% of the people are happy with it. There are some people who say this video is fake because we're not seeing certain things in the video. People are saying, oh, the quality's crappy. Oh, the angles are crappy. And everybody has a right to critique. But what's crazy is, the people who are critiquing are now the people who, one, either stole the video, two, either got the video on my OnlyFans for $5, which is normally $300, or three, the people who bought it for $100 for all three, which is the regular price now, and they're complaining about it. So I don't remember one person who paid $300 and be like, hey, I want my money back, this sucks. Almost every single person was very happy with it, despite me being honest, and telling you that is probably like a three out of 10, right? But at the end of the day, if I saw Vanessa Hudgens making a video with somebody, like you ever see a celebrity, you know what tape, they look awful, but people still like it because of the person in the video. So, you know, you deal with it, even though most of those are stolen or leaked, um, and you pay for it, you know you should be happy. And I, I understand that, and that's why I said to myself that I'm never gonna do this again, because I'm not prepared for it. I don't have a camera person to do it and I would feel really awkward. And I, don't, I think the one time thing is how I made my money. If I, if I knew I could make $100,000 off another video, of course I would do it, right? But I know people are still holding on to this one video because they know, and I stated, that this is the only video that I'm gonna make. 
So that's why, what's up, little? That's why people really, you know, still buy this video to this day. And we're talking, this video came out the first of 2019. That's how long this video been out for. They've been distributed by the first of 2019. That's when they were all distributed. And now, on my OnlyFans, I have 40, 4,300 active subscribers. And at 5,000, I'm releasing um, video two, because video one's already on there for $5 plus another 558 videos, plus a thousand videos for $5. So I feel like at this time, I milked it as long as I could, and now I'm trying to give it to people for next to nothing, because number one, people did hack it, people did steal it, people did post it everywhere, and it's fine. And hopefully people will still contribute and help me out and respect me as a content creator, because I know that you know a lot of people download movies legally, but they still go to the movie theaters. So. Hopefully people respect me more than that because I can't afford to be stolen from, stuff stolen from and it's unfortunate that you know it got out the way it did, but that's what it is. So I'm trying to think of other controversial things to talk about. I think I hit the, the nail on the head for most of it. And if you do have any questions regarding this video or regarding the topic, please let me know and I'll, on, I'll honestly answer as best as possible. Um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head what else to talk about. Um, definitely, I, I definitely lowered the price over time. Right after the pre-orders came out, the videos were 600 instead of 300. And then I had sales where it was 150, I had sales where it was 300, I had sales where it was 100, and then I think on Black Friday, I had a $50 sale. So I made, like because the video, people like hacking and shit now, and stuff now, like I don't, I'm not as much worried. I mean, yeah, I don't want that out there like that because that's not me. But at the end of the day, I probably made like between 30 and 60,000 on the video. So, you know, I'm happy with the results and the, the funding that it got me. You know, I did have friends come up to me and ask me questions like, oh, I didn't know you do this with guys and stuff like that. And I had people calling me gay. When people say stuff about me, and they don't know the truth, or they're not close to me, it doesn't really hurt me. My parents, my sister, you know, people that I've been with romantically, they all understand me. They live with me every day, they know who I am. So they don't judge me for things. But even if my parents judge me, it wouldn't really bother me. It only hurts when somebody that I love, like, deeply. I had a rough childhood, so don't, don't ask me why I don't love my parents as much as I should. That's a, that's a YouTube video I made before, so you can better understand that. But the three videos are still on sale. Hundred dollars gets you all three. If you subscribe to my OnlyFans, you get one for five dollars plus everything else on the site. And then in 750 subscribers, I'll be posting the second video, and then a thousand more, I'll be posting the third video on my OnlyFans, so everybody can have it. I also sent it out to everybody via private message to other two videos for $50 each. And a lot of people are purchasing it, despite you know one of them being available when I hit 5K. But with OnlyFans subscribers, it's like, I might be at 4,300, but 700 subscribers is not gonna get me to 5K. The reason why is because people unsubscribe. So if you're subscribed to my OnlyFans, please be sure to resubscribe. And if you're new and you're gonna sign up, please set to resubscribe. This way the number can go up and we can continue working together. Um, regards to filming, let me see if I can get a little more into it without getting trouble. Like I said, I was recording on one camera then I had a camera in my hand and then Vadim a lot of the time was like, oh, let me get a few clips from my Twitter to advertise and stuff like that. And I was like, Vadim, I really don't want you like posting a bunch of stuff for previews when I want people to buy the videos. So mostly in his previews was, was just him and I was okay with that. But that's not something, you know, we, agree, we, we agreed upon ahead of time. So again, we did those two different days and at that time he didn't have a car so I had to pick him up, take him back to my place, record these videos. So it was definitely a whole, a whole project. But at the end of the day, you know, it was worth it. So that, that be that. So be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Getting close to 100K subscribers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, 
If I miss anything and you, you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Just leave it in the comment section below. I just can't answer, I have to answer them like eight um, PG-13 way. So I don't wanna get in trouble. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Jake, I'm trying to stay fit. Hoping the gym opens soon. Actually took a duke earlier today and pulled my back out while I was on the toilet. So my, my right back hurts really, really bad. But I'm about to go take a shower, get some stuff done, play some video games, head on chat a bit, and then that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me go shut off my camera because I don't edit my videos or I don't have a camera person, I have a tripod. Take care guys.